guys and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing an Amazon haul. a while ago and um, a couple of you guys have been commenting saying I, if I could do another one or not. Now my today my nose is a bit stuffy, I'm feeling a little bit under the weather, it's pouring with rain, I really hope you can't hear the rain too much. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling a little bit of under the weather, so if I've got the brain fog, the sentences don't make sense, the sniffly nose, the <coughs> throat, I'm just a little bit under the weather, I've got a little bit of a cold lurking around, but nothing was going to stop me today, guys, from doing the Amazon haul. You know, the hauls come first. Let me just explain a bit about, let me just show you what I got first. So I have one Amazon box full of clothes. I see so much nice stuff on Amazon right now at the moment as well. An even bigger box. <laughs> Help. And then I have lots of shoe boxes by here. Oh my gosh. And a few more down there. So basically Amazon contacted me again this month and they were like, would you like to do another haul? And they gave me £600 to spend. It just baffles me. So, um, seeing as you guys had commented uh, a few times saying to do another Amazon haul because you'd enjoyed the first two, I thought, it's about time we do another Amazon haul. And I went on and there was some pretty good stuff on there. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So thank you, Amazon. And I'm so excited. Let's get stuck in. And also, I will have links to everything in the description box, as I usually do with all my videos. Um, they will be tracked and they will be affiliate links. So it's like a small percentage of the sale will go to me if you shop through the links. So thank you so much if you do choose to shop through the links. But also they are tracked by Amazon. So even if you just click the links to browse or whatever, they track the clicks and everything like that and that's what allows me to do hauls like this. So it's you guys that allow me to do um, these hauls. So thank you guys as well. I love you so much. You know that. Okay. I've got my pajamas on and there's hairs everywhere. Go first into this big box down here. Okay, first we have these trousers. Oh my gosh, I'm sitting remembering all this stuff now and honestly this order took me so long. I looked through everything, like I literally think I looked through about 3,000 billion pages on Amazon. So these are kept trousers. I'm very into these types of trousers. I love them. Stretchy waistband, which is what attracted me to them. So they've got this sort of stretchy, elasticated bit on the back. Got them in a size 12, because usually if something has no stretch, that's the size that fits my thighs and my bum. I'll come in in my waist a little bit, because it's got stretch, but fear not, we can always wear a belt. Even though there's no belt loops, I feel like these look really cute with a black belt. Oh my gosh, guys. These may be my new fave trousers. Um, this is a good start to the haul. So guys, this is the fit of the trousers. I am absolutely freaking obsessed. <gasps> Look at them. They're so comfy. They have pockets. They do fit on the waist, so they're a little bit big on the waist, but like they're not falling down, you know? They're actually quite comfortably big on the waist. Then they fit my bum and legs so well. Like, so well. Um, oh my gosh, this is crazy. They are so flattering. Oh my gosh, this is a very good start to the haul. <gasps> Look at these! I literally, yes! I'm literally just like kneeling all the way down right now and they're so comfy. Okay, that was a really good start. Okay, let's, let's, let's go on to the next thing. What do we have here? Oh my gosh, this is the Be Happy Top. Some of you guys are actually sending me the link, like you need this, because obviously all my sort of social medias have Busy Bee in the title. And oh my gosh, is that a little... So basically, I thought the Be Happy, the um, top was just all this Be Happy, Be Happy, Be Happy, Be Happy. I did not see that on the website. Just to say, this is actually a little pin, so you can take it out. Um, I'm gonna leave it on because I think it's really cute. So I got this one in an extra small, and as you can see, it is quite fitted, like it is kind of high-necked, 
sort of fitted shape. But for an, I don't really know why I ordered an extra small. I hardly ever order an extra small. I usually order a small. Um, and in t-shirts, I often go for medium or large because I like them oversized. I think a small or a medium would be absolutely fine. Um, but, you know, saying that, there's still a lot of room in this. And I do like the way that it fits. Okay, this is the cutest outfit I've ever seen. Oh, I'm actually loving that vibe so much. So yeah, it's just a plain white tee with a busy B on it. Be happy, you guys know I'm loving those vibes. Okay, let's, I've really got to pick up the pace because I've got a lot to get through. Right, so what should we do next? Next. <gasps> Basically, this is the coat. You guys may recognize it if you've been on the Instagram stories. From size to size, things can be priced differently. And apparently it's all done on demand and clicks and things like that. This was the size extra small or the small. And basically all the sizes were 50 pounds, apart from the extra large, which was 26 pounds. Now 26 pounds for this coat is ridiculous. So I was like, what is going on? So obviously I ordered one of the extra small for 50 pounds and one of the extra large for £26. Then I posted on my story for everyone to swipe up and see what the price was to see if it came up as 26 or 50 and that day it was coming up for all of us at 61. So what we can take from this is if you like anything you see in this haul, always worth going on the website and clicking on it and finding your size because everything's priced differently, everything will be, you know, a different value to how much you want to pay or whatever so it's always worth having a look because there is no just one price on Amazon. So this is the first time I'm trying on the extra small. I absolutely love the extra large. Um, I'll go and get that now. Oh, this is small. Okay, so this is the extra small. Now, for starters, the sleeves are like this. If you like them like that, fine. I personally, they're a little bit long for me anyway, even in the extra small. And I actually prefer them rolled kind of like half and half. I think it's really cute because then you've got like the furry and then you've got the matching um, sort of suede brown colour. Now for me personally this is far too small. It does have like quite a lot of room at the front. Freaking love the pockets. So if you want like a petite fitted style then obviously you can size, not size down but maybe even true to size. I like my coats oversized. There's no way that I could wear a jumper or a hoodie or anything under this coat. Although you may not need to which may be the reason that it is sized so small because it is so thick and warm and fluffy inside it may be a coat that you can literally just wear a t-shirt underneath and that is going to keep you toasty warm. This is the extra large, which is much more down my street. I wouldn't even personally say that that was super oversized. Naturally, from a shop picking that up, that's around a size 12. I don't, you know, want to say anything too certain because I'm not going to know 100% about all the sizing. But personally, from my experience, I would say that's around a size 12. Um, I just love that sizing. Love the coat. Okay, next we have... A jumper! Okay, I feel like this is also going to go really well with these trousers. These trousers just go with everything, I feel. Um, okay. It's not itchy. It's not feeling itchy so far. This is really cute. I really, really like this. I love that it's not itchy. I love the neckline. I love the seam down the front. I know I ordered a pair of, like, blue denim jeans, so I'm going to just... I think that. oh my gosh, they're literally right, right here. Hopefully these will fix. I feel like jeans and this jumper would go really well together. So these, where did I get these in? A UK size 10, did I? I think I might have picked like small or something. Pretty small, so let's give these a go. That is exactly what I was hoping. These jeans go very nicely with this jumper. I feel like they suit like a, either tucked in or I'm really feeling like wearing jumpers that like sort of come down a bit with a pair of skinny jeans and boots. I feel like that's my very autumny vibe at the moment. Anyway, so let's do the jumper first. Love the jumper, really nice to wear. It's just a nice autumn jumper, you know? Jeans, the jeans fit, which is a very, <laughs> a very good start. Now they are a waist 28, so they're not super duper uber tight on the waist. Um, and I usually quite like my jeans quite tight on the waist, but they're not exactly falling down. So I'm pretty impressed. And the other thing is, I really like the color of them. I don't feel like I own a jean that color. It's kind of like, in between like bluey grey vibes. I just really like the colour. They look very similar to the Johnny jeans, the Topshop Johnny jeans, um, and they fit similar, but probably not as stretchy. They fit my bum nicely as well. They don't feel like they're squishing it down too much, which is nice. And I also really like this little white um, patch here. They often have like brown or like darker coloured ones, so I'm quite feeling the little white patch. Okay, next I feel like we need to do the pair of boots that I have been talking about on my Instagram stories a lot. Um, oh, I just love them so much. So basically these 
Um, I got these delivered, they came in like a separate bag like all the sh shoes have, they kind of came, lots of different things came separately and I was like, oh I just want to see if they're nice, like I just wanted to test them out for you guys, I just wanted to wear them for a day and see if, because it's all well and good being like, yeah these are super cute, but it is another thing whether a shoe is comfortable and whether a shoe feels good on your foot for like a whole day. So. I did test these out, I wore them for a whole day, as you can see, like they got a little scuff on them from wearing them out and about, I actually think I've worn them twice now, um, but I just love them so much, like how nice is that shoe? Like it's like a really posh nice pattern, honestly the detailing on this shoe, and the shoe was only £32. Yeah. Inside is all like fluffy as well, but it's not too hot, it's not like super hot and fluffy, you know? It's just like a nice, thin, fluffy layer. <gasps> Can you cope? Can you cope? Oh my gosh. This outfit is going to be so autumny and cute. Ta-da! Autumn outfit on point. Absolutely love They'll heel and platform to them, which make me feel a bit taller, but they are super easy to walk in. The only one thing I would say about them, oh, I also just love the, like, like detailing of the stitching on the top. It's just so freaking cute. One thing I would say is they do run, oh my gosh, I'm out of breath. They do run a little bit big, so I'm usually a size five, which fits me really well, but these came in a size five and they have room for a thick sock. If you are planning on wearing thick socks with them, maybe just go for your true to size. If you want it super snug, then maybe size down two thin pairs of socks. So I just put another pair of thin socks over my other socks. They fitted very nicely, so. It doesn't take much to get them to fit nicely. Um, oh my gosh. I love them. Next we have... <gasps> right, I had been looking at this little sweater thing. The last time I did my Amazon haul, I looked at it and I was like, shall I get that? And then I didn't, and I don't know why, I just didn't. And this time I was like, you know what, I am going to get it, because I freaking love the colours. I love the colours together. How nice are these colours? Oh. Oh, I thought that was really itchy then, but it was actually just, there's little labels, I think, stuck inside them. Should I take that t-shirt off? It's a very high t-shirt, isn't it? Oh my gosh, I am actually so annoyed that I didn't order this sweater earlier. What? I really didn't think it would be this freaking nice. Why do I love this so much? It's the colours, it's literally the colours. They are actually dreamy. I freaking love it, and the material of this is like a little fluffy like thing, and it's so cute. I like that it hasn't got fluff inside yet, I like having the mixture. This feels very comfortable, and not too hot and sweaty. Wow, I like that a lot more than I thought I would. A lot more. I also got it in the size large, so I wanted it to be oversized, but it's not like super, super oversized, so I think it is meant to be a little bit fitted. I also feel like, no, I feel like I really like it in the size large. <gasps> so comfortable, and I just love the colour. <gasps> Love the colours. Wow, I'm really enjoying this haul. I've loved everything so far. Okay, the next thing we have is this giant coat. Okay, so I was looking at this coat and I thought that it would be perfect for dog walking, basically. One of these type of coats. Puffy and long and they just keep you warm, especially when the weather starts to get cold and you're out dog walking. It's got like little pockets everywhere. I feel like it's a proper little smart fashionable, practical dog walking coat, you know? Look at me being all practical. So I've got this one in a size small, and oh, I'm happy with that. There's a lot of room in there. Oh, that's good. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I have the cutest little dog walking outfit on right now. I've got my boots, I've got my coat, I've got my jeans, I've got my jumper. I really, really like this. I like how fitted it is. I like the style of it. I like the pockets. Let's see what the hood's like. Oh, perfect size hood. <gasps> This is definitely going to get a lot of use for a lot of the winter. My wintry coat. What about doing it up? Oh my gosh, the zip works really nicely. Ooh, this does feel like a really nice quality coat to be fair. Actually, now I've said that, I remember that this coat was a little bit more expensive than some of the other pieces that I ordered. And I just felt like sometimes you need to invest in the quality for something that you're going to use a lot. And I know I will use it a lot because I used my one last year a lot, a lot, a lot. I also really don't want to take this sweater off. Like, I really, really don't want to take this sweater off. I love it so much. Okay, so next we have shoes. Oh, okay. I remember ordering these and I did not know whether they were going to suit me or not. But they looked so funky and so, like, cute. And I just thought... These are either going to be like a massive yay or a massive nay. We're just going to have to see, you know? So I actually really, really like these. I was surprised how much I like them, but 
I feel like they go nicely with denim because as I was trying them on, I was trying to think what they would go with. I feel like that would be my biggest issue with a trainer like this. What they would go with, but I do feel like they go nicely with this denim colour and I do feel like they would go nicely with denim. I freaking love platform shoes. I love shoes with like chunky soles and everything like that and these obviously have a massive chunky sole which I love. I love the colour combo, I love the colours, I just think it's a really nice shoe. I do really like them. I definitely like them a lot more than I thought I would. Okay, next we will do this jumper. Wow, that's soft. Hello. That is freaking soft. Oh, balloon sleeves. I never order anything with balloon sleeves. It doesn't say. Wow. Okay, so this is extremely comfortable. This is very, very soft. It's a very, very, very comfy jumper to wear. The only thing I'm concerned about is these sleeves. Now, I actually didn't notice that these sleeves were like that, but, like, they are, aren't they? They've got little, like, things in them to sort of make them a little bit balloony but maybe that's meant to be flattering there would obviously be a reason for it to be honest you don't notice it that much so I feel like it still does just look like a plain grey jumper to me and also it's nice and thin as well so it can be a nice tuck in jumper you guys know I love love tucking in my jumpers like that see that is cute I love the neck as well because it's so soft and because it's so comfortable, it's really nice to have on the neck. Okay, the next thing we have... How many of these have I ordered lately, guys? Honestly, I'm literally on a mad one. I think I got a bit carried away with ordering these jackets from different places because... Oh, that's a really nice one, though. Oh, it's got a bit of stretch to it. Oh, there's not many denim jackets with a bit of stretch in it. Oh, that is nice. I'm liking that. Okay, I'm not sure about this whole outfit going on together. Maybe I should be putting on a different different top or something. It's definitely snug for a medium as well. I feel like it's a little bit running a little bit small sizing for a medium, if I'm honest. And um, it's definitely not baggy. Oh, I guess actually I'm wearing this underneath it, which I don't usually wear when I try on my denim jackets. But, yeah, I guess actually it fits quite nicely over it. The thing about it is it's like... Um, a previous one I've tried on from Pull and Bear, it has stretch in it. So when you're like, one of my things with denim jackets, the reason I oversize, like, go so oversized is because I hate reaching up and feeling, um, restricted. But these, because they have stretch in them, you're not gonna be restricted in this. And I really like the colour. I like the sort of black wash colour or black buttons. I'm feeling it. The only annoying thing is it doesn't have pockets in the side. Obviously it does have pockets up here, but not in the side, which is really annoying because there's space for them. Okay, next thing we have is another shoe box. What do we have in here? This is so exciting. I'm really digging for this autumn and winter, like Doc Markin, Markin? <laughs> Doc Martin style boots, like these. Now obviously Doc Martins are really expensive, um, but they are really nice quality. So I wanted to look at some cheaper alternatives. Oh, they're very nice and soft inside. I'm loving these. So they're like a grey one. They've got a slightly browny sole to them, which I really like. Okay, guys, so I really, really, really like these. These are lovely. <gasps> yes. With any sort of style boot in this type of style, the leather comes very sturdy, it comes very thick, and so when you first put it on, and I always tie it really tight to my foot, because um, that's kind of the most comfortable way to wear them, in my opinion. They will feel a little bit sturdy and a little bit uncomfortable. So that's not to do necessarily with the quality if they feel uncomfortable when you first try them on. If they're like this, they probably will mould to your feet. They probably will stretch and mould and become extremely comfy over time. I love these so much. Oh my gosh, I really, really like these. And I also, because of the black laces, they would look so nice with leggings, with like black, all black jeans, grey jeans, leggings. Overall, I really, really like them. Definitely recommend. I will definitely be getting a lot of use out of those this autumn slash winter. Also guys, if you've missed me saying in my, any, any of my past videos yet, I do now have an Instagram account that is completely dedicated to outfits. I link where everything is from, I link everything in my stories. So if you are really into clothes or really into outfits like me, then make sure you go over and follow that. That is Busy Bee Outfits, and I just post all my outfits and everything on there. So thank you so much to everyone that's followed so far. I'm so excited about that account. I'm literally obsessing over it so much. Next. I'm excited for this piece. Such an autumny cute colour. Absolutely 
love it. I even just love how smart and just simple the zips are and this is very soft suede, very nice, very thin as well. I really like it when they're thin because they're not restrictive or they don't feel too heavy or anything like that. Sized up to a 10 just to give me a bit more room with like jumpers and stuff. So it's good that I'm going to be trying it on now with a jumper. Oh, that is really comfy. Oh. oh my gosh, yes. There is really not much to say about this apart from the fact that I'm obsessed. <laughs> I'm well and truly obsessed with this. <gasps> Oh yes, this is exactly what I was hoping it would be. It's thin, it's comfortable. Okay, so that first zip is fake. Let's hope this one isn't. Okay, this one isn't fake. Woo, thank goodness. And then we got one on this side which I assume isn't fake. That's all good, we got two, two working pockets. I'm happy with that. I love the zips on the sleeves as well. You can open them up a bit if you need, just to give you a bit more room, but then it also it doesn't like completely flare your sleeves, which is really nice as well. With this look with like an all black outfit and then just bam, just jazzing it up. And also this color goes with denim, it goes with gray, it'll go with black, it'll go with a lot of the neutrals. It'll go with white, it'll go with cream, it'll go with a lot, a lot of neutrals. Okay, next we're gonna try another pair of shoes. This looks like a big box, so I'm assuming this is gonna be like a pair of boots or something. <gasps> I remember these now. Oh my gosh, these look so cute. <gasps> it's so freaking soft. Okay guys, I'm also gonna try on this white shirt. I will get onto that in a minute, but basically I'm just way too hot in this jumper at the moment, so I'm just gonna try on this shirt, because I feel like this shirt and the jeans and the boots will also look really cute, so I'm gonna do that now. These are the cutest boots ever. You can see my bra. Hi. I love the stitching on them. The main thing I love is this white stitching. I feel like it makes them really unique. I feel like it makes them look really smart. Really tight around the foot as well, so it makes you feel, your foot feel really snug, and it makes you feel more comfortable walking in them, because you guys know I'm not the best at walking in heels, but I feel pretty comfortable in these heels. Oh my gosh, I love. This was the shirt, but I'm not a big fan of the material, so I don't think I would recommend this shirt. I love the vibe, it's the exact vibe that I wanted, it just, the material just feels a little bit cheap and a little bit papery. But the shoes, wow. I really like these, oh my gosh, I really, really like them, they're so nice. Okay, the top was annoying me, so I've just tied the top into one big thing at the front. Feeling it. Anyway, I love the boots. I think they're really flattering. I think any sort of knee-high boots, um, sort of thigh-high boots like this are flattering on the legs, and I just, I really like the style of them. They're definitely some of my favourite ever, like, brownie boots that I've seen because of the white stitching. I feel like it just makes them look really expensive, you know? The next thing we have is this woolen style skirt. I like the idea of like a woolen -y. there's a name for them. Bool? Bushu? I can't remember the name for them. I don't have stretch to them, so they do need to fit over my bum and legs. But again, that would look really cute with like a little brown belt or something. A little black belt or something. So fear not if it is a little too baggy on the waist. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy this skirt actually fits me. Um, it actually fits me quite nicely on the waist, so it's a size 10. It's obviously a little bit baggy, it's not like super duper tight, but it does fit nicely, like it's not falling down or anything. So I'm quite happy with that. A little black belt as well would look really cute. Um, I'll actually go and grab a little black belt in a minute just to see what it looks like. Probably be very likely to wear black tights and little black boots or something with this. I really, really like this. Wow. Wow! Oh my gosh, this is the cutest little outfit ever. So I put on my black boots from Boohoo. It's a sort of circly belt like that, and I just feel like it ties in really nicely. Sort of adds a really nice touch to the outfit with a little little boots and a little belt. Very impressed with that one. Okay. Next we have <gasps> new look, fluffy. Oh my gosh, that's really nice and soft. Fluffy pink coat. Long as well. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna try this one straight on because I'm just not sure Not sure what this is gonna be like. Oh my gosh. I love this so much more than I thought I would I really really like this. I really like the color. It's like a rose Pinky purpley color. The color is absolutely gorgeous. It doesn't go Amazingly well with this outfit. I feel like I'm still digging it with this outfit though But this would go really nicely with jeans boots all those like typical basic autumn outfit really really digging that yeah 
and it's a really soft, soft teddy bear material. I feel like it goes in my lipstick really well. Oh, I really like that. Next thing we have is a pair of joggers. Oh my gosh, these are so soft. Oh, I think these are gonna be really nice. And they're not the fluffy material inside either, so they're hopefully not gonna be super sweaty. Oh, let's try these on. These are super thin, super comfy, really nice fitting on the waist. They've got the waistband, obviously, to adjust it. Um, but I literally nearly lost this one. It was like by here, and I was like, no, come back, because once you lose them, they're such a nightmare to get back through. But they're quite short strands, so I am tempted to kind of tie a little knot like that. But the waistband fits really nicely without even having to tie it up, so I'm really happy with that. I love the material itself. It's very, very sort of soft and, oh, what's the word, like slinky almost. If you want it to look sort of that way at the bottom, that's fine. They can be like a very pajamery, jobbery, soft, flowy style. I personally think I will roll them like this, because they obviously do have that bit that comes in the bottom. They are going to roll nice and easily, so I've rolled them three times there. Yes! Uh, that is exactly what I was wanting. Really, really, really comfy. Really nice. Okay, the next thing we have is another box of shoes. These are basically very similar to the plain grey boots that we looked at before. But they're a little bit shorter and they've got this like nice fluffy stretchy material around the top which is very like autumny wintry I feel. This is a proper little autumny wintry boot this is right here. The fluffy material down the inside as well. Um, ooh, I'm excited to try these ones on. Oh my gosh, I've just put them on. I haven't even done the laces or anything. Genuinely, one of the comfiest boots I've ever put on my foot. What to the actual heck? It must be that material inside that is so freaking comfy. <laughs> I love these so, so much, guys. Wow. I really like how comfortable they are. I really like the color of them. They do feel a little bit more snug than the other ones, to be fair. But the good thing is they do have the laces all the way at the front, so you can sort of tie them tight if you want or have them a little bit looser. Good autumn winter shoe. I really, really, really like these. Okay, the next thing we have is this suede jacket. Again, it's from um, New Look on Amazon. Um, so it should be similar to the uh, like rusty coloured one which I was obsessed with. <gasps> Yay, it feels similar. Okay, it's slightly different. I like that. I like that it's slightly different. Have a bit more of a thicker, sturdier vibe to it but still like comfortable, you know? Oh yeah. Oh, that does feel comfy. And oh my gosh, I'm loving the colors. I'm loving the like dark zips and then the gray. I love it. I love all the details on it. I love, oh, pocket going on over here. We got a good pocket going on over here. We're all good with the pockets. Wow, I just feel like it looks really nice quality and it also feels really nice quality. Next thing we have is a pair of shoes. My camera is playing up a little bit. I'm so sorry guys if the quality is a little bit funny or it's not focusing properly on different things. So we have, <gasps> oh, these smell really nice. They smell like a proper shoe shop, shoe shop vibes. So anyway, this is a brown Chelsea style boot. Now I have a black version of this. To be honest, these feel good quality. So these do feel better quality than some of the ones I have. So these are a size 5. They're not super snug. Um, they've got enough space in them for a thicker sock. So again, if you want a super, super snug Chelsea boot, if you are only going to be wearing thin socks with them, maybe consider sizing down. Ooh, they feel very smart. They feel very nice quality compared to some others of these that I've tried on before. Oh gosh, they look so smart from the top as well. I like these a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Stick with this size just because I feel like I will wear little socks that pop out the top. Because um, that's just the kind of thing that I do, you know, with my boots. Last thing we have is a Vans box. And I saved this to last because, to be honest, I honestly can't remember ordering a pair of Vans. So, this is like Christmas. <gasps> I remember! Okay, so I have my slip-on, you guys freaking know if you follow me on Instagram, um, I have my slip-on checked black and white Vans that I wear, well I did wear freaking constantly, I was wearing them like every day for like months and then I was like I need to stop. So I thought I would get myself for autumn and winter, 
a plain black pair. Platformed, of course, my other ones are platform, and they just make me feel that little bit taller, and they sort of flatter your legs a little bit more, platform, <gasps> simple, basic. Let's see what they look like on. S, I definitely like these. I feel like I'll get a lot of use out of these. I think the reason I love my other ones so much is because they literally are just slip on. So I keep them by the door, and I literally do just slip them on whenever I'm going out. Oh yes, I like the white and black. I like the simplicity. I love the little Valens like logo thing on the back as well. Okay guys, so that is the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you liked all the pieces. I was very, very, very shocked with this Amazon haul, in a sense that like, I loved my first two Amazon hauls, but I feel like this one just topped it. Like this one was just a little bit higher, you know? It was just that little bit extra special. Thank you so much for all your support on my videos, always. I love you guys so much. As always, at the end of my videos, I'm gonna remind you to practice self-love this week, practice mindfulness this week, practice body positivity, practice life positivity. Um, the little be happy top reminded me that Yes, of course we all want to be happy and we want to live happy lives, but I think a lot of, just taking off my shoes, a lot of happiness comes from, well I found anyway, a lot of my happiness has come from finding self-love, finding body confidence, finding um, mindfulness, practicing mindfulness, um, and practicing positivity and stuff like that. Don't feel worried that you're not super happy every single day, that's not something that's achievable being overly happy all the time and life's amazing and all of that. Like I know that that's what we see online, that's what we see on social media, we see everyone's bests ever, everything, and everyone's got the best lives ever, but make sure you remember that that's not actually a reality. A reality is a lot of the time up and down. Every single day we go up, we go down, and we've got to have those down times, we've got to have those not so happy times to feel happy when we do have the happy times and appreciate the happy times. If you were to always be happy, then your happy would feel normal again and then you're extra happy would be and that's that's such a big thing in life the more we focus on getting the next high the next happiness the more we're unhappy because we're just chasing that all the time and I just think being content with yourself being content um in who you are and accepting yourself as an amazing human as you are a little bit of a random one today I hope you guys enjoyed that one I will see you in the next video and I love you so so much bye guys